What do you have on your truck? Um, I've got 75 on If I wanted to, I could sell it for 600. Well, I just told you that yeah, as well. <laughs> What's the damage for that pile? Most of these people are resellers, all looking to make a dollar in the art of the resale hustle. Tell me, what's your local flea market like? Comment below and is yours this competitive? Do you have as many buyers lined up waiting outside to get in for a bargain? Be sure to stick through to the end of the video where I'm going to show you some in-store purchases that have been brought into my shop throughout the day. Did you build this yourself? I did, yeah. Did you keep the box? No, I don't have the box. That there will be worth about half because of the cover versus that there. I'm also going to take you on a journey on finding items to resell for profit. So come along for the ride. And the hat? Five. Okay. I'll just grab those then, thanks. Aaron Williams. Yeah. They do well. How much are your shirts, mate? Uh, five bucks for it. Any of the shirts. Did you do two each if I bought a bunch? Yeah. Thanks, Aaron. Three. Four. There's two ways to negotiate. You either ask what the bulk deal price would be per unit when buying clothing like this, or if you're buying various items like collectibles, put it all in a pile and work out a price at the end. Gee, play, it's not what you want. And what about this? That's correct, 70, you go like this, that's it. Sorry. Let's see how the wheels are elongated. Very well. Good. Busy? Yes, quite busy. Yep. Not too bad. Uh, how much for your toys? Um, a dollar each. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, the dollar's fine. Yeah? Yep. Look yeah. at that Star Wars. You don't like it. Uh, yeah, how much were they? They're five dollars each. Okay. I hate to part with them. Look at this. Look. Look at the end Yep. Gorgeous. Okay. We well, got one, two, three, four, five there. Yeah. And then you've got those toys there. Yeah. How much would you do for those? Um, 30? 25? Five? No. I want five each for okay. those. They're worth it. No worries. All right, we'll do that. Would you do 35 with that? Um, $5 for that. Yeah. Mm, all right. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm just looking at the red ones. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? The red ones. Just the footy boots. Yeah. yeah. Then, you take you them go. Oh, How yeah. much have you got? No, on the you go. Boots? This one? Yeah. Yeah, they're all yours, Danny. Nah, mate. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, bits and pieces. What have you got? Just a turtle. Empty handed. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not pricing it to sort of give it away, but no, that's maybe... fair. Somewhere between eighty to hundred dollars. Yeah. What'd you have on the cups? Um, I was asking twenty for those. Should you go fifteen? They're pretty scratched up. Um, it is complete. Though. I think I'm probably hold, yeah. holding at twenty. I think on that. Right. Yeah. yeah, that was. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh look, no, that's a reasonable Keep, price. Think about I'm it. just buying it on impulse. No, that's all right. That's all good. Sorry. What about your glass, mate? Oh, that one was really hard. I thought it was so expensive, but I think it's like $20. Might have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What'd you have on it? Yeah, I think 20 Okay. Yeah. 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 Um, oh, no, uh, I think I put one oh, dollar on each of them, and then yeah. two for the big one, maybe. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. All right, I'll grab those Keep three. Nah, no, that's cool. <laughs> what have you priced? Sorry, I'll screw one dollar for those. No, no, but what have you priced? If you're cheaper, I'll grab what you priced. What are you going to put on them, Dad? How much was the teddy? Uh, teddy, Dad? The old oh, yellow boy? Yeah, look. Center on the teddy. Okay. 
This was actually a nice collection, but I overheard the conversation where she said that they were $100, so I left them behind. Do you want for those? Oh, a couple of dollars. Okay, thank you. Appreciate that. Whoops, okay. lucky I came back. Oh, no. Oh. Got a bag for the bubbles, is that okay? Yeah, Thanks. Cool. So it's 15, yeah? Um, I've got that one before. Would you do 20 for the five? Yeah. Yep. All right. Yeah. Is he? What you want is the pull cord ones that talk. They're a lot more desirable. What's the damage for that pile? Be kind, I'll spend more money. Yeah, I always put it fussy. Yep. All the stuff. That's it. Um, yep. Yep. Yeah. Every damage on that. Oh, mate, the whole, nearly the whole um, N64 library and NES library because it plays NES. Yeah, five, six years ago. So your, your shoe. Is that pretty easy? Yeah, it's a bit yeah. easy. What they used to do is engrave the games. It's not worth as much as it's supposed to be, but that's right. And you double that again if it comes with a box and instruction, and then an instruction they range from ten dollars up depending on what cartridge they are with. Zelda's one of the best games. Do you want to tell us the fans? As far as collecting, yeah, the mission mission possible. Possible. <laughs> Everyone played this as a kid. Four player, one of the best it's, games. It's, yeah, it did get oh, actually, good. no, 007 I preferred. Yeah. Over mission. What was your favourite? Um, yeah, the same one you said, the one where it's sort of the third person type thing. Yep. One controller. So, people mm -hmm. just don't always realise to check what's in them. So, there's rumble packs, there's memory cards. That's a memory card. That's about 20 bucks to the value. And then, Colour joysticks, always check if the joystick's got some movement in it. Um, a lot of them, because we were all trump on yeah, these yeah, kids, yeah. they weren't... They like, get, they're off centre, yeah. yeah. So, colour, depending on the colour, is the price. Grey is what most of them come with, but then the limited edition consoles came out, and they also sold variants of colours of joysticks. And we've got the console. One thing you want to check... Oh, look, we've got another Zelda game. One thing you want to check is if it's got the expansion pack. The expansion pack has got the red top and that basically gave the um, more memory and options with the games. They're, I'm not going to, I don't know if I should tell you, but they're about $80 now. Oh, wow. So they were like $30 extra to the console value if you have one of those. 
So I think he boxed it. Yeah, if you've got them with the box and instructions, oh, yeah, yeah. but everyone wants them with that. Exactly. Um, people actually, what they do is if they've got the standard ones that go in here, they take them, they take these out, put, put the standards in, sell the console with the standards, oh, so and separate. they sell these separate. So we've got that. And we've got a GameCube with no games. No, it does what you can test it if you want. Okay, so we've got one control, we've got the cables for that, we've got one control, we've got the cables for that. So we've got two consoles. A memory card. A there's Everdrive cartridge and six games. What's the damage? Um, I don't know, man. I know how much I could get for only what I got offered yesterday, but at 350 for the whole lot. I got offered 500 for that yesterday, but I'll, I'm not going to do that because I promised you what I said. Um, because I offered it to you first. So that's a good selling tactic when people tell you um, you can have it for 350. I was offered 500. But that, that's true, though. No, 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 but I'm saying for the video. <laughs> <laughs> um, because now it like, makes me sound like a clown if I go, would you take 250? Because he said he's been offered 250. It's been because he's been offered 500. So it then puts it back on me as to paying what he's asking because he's got a potential buyer that's willing to pay more. So that's a good tactic when you're dealing with people moving forward. Mm. This as a console with one control is about 150 when you're chucking a cheap 10, 20 dollar game. So that's that. So there's no real cheap games in here though, because um, they're all good titles. So for example, that with that and that control, I could probably ask 180 bucks potentially. This as a console, 120 to 150. So we're looking at maybe nearly $300 asking price. So we're nearly there with the money, and then we've got these. So you've got to consider the time it takes, uh, any fees that are associated if you're going to use eBay versus selling in store or on marketplace, um, how many transactions you're going to need to do. So that would be one transaction, that would be another, and then potentially if I sold these six games to six different people, there's six more. So that could be eight dealings that take half an hour of my time each time, so potentially four hours worth of work to try and make, this is the difference between my buy and sell cost, so you're at 350 if I get, say, 300 for that, anything over $50 is my profit. So if we looked at, say, 50 for that, 120 for that is 170. Um, so 60 for that is about 230. Uh, say 150 for that might be 400. And then, say, 40 on that, what's that, 440, 30 on that, it's 470, is that right? You're doing the math, math. dude, I wasn't kidding. I'm not sure, we'll have to look at that. <laughs> so I think I think that was about 470 and then this was about the 300. So it's about 770 for a 350 investment. So potentially double my money for six transactions. So if I can make 300 bucks in six transactions, that's 50 bucks a transaction. So yeah. that might be worth my time. Um, would you take 300? Um, I'm pretty firm on 350. Actually, like after saying that, I'll, uh, you know, I'll probably go up, but I don't want to go up um, because that's unfair to you. Um, but yeah, three, I'll, for the whole lot, like for two consoles, 350 is fine. Eh? All right, I'll do that. Are you going with the Lego champ? Yeah, good thanks. Finding some? Yeah, just trying to find all the good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I got more to bring in too as well. Yeah. Pricing going on, stuff going out. And this is just from this morning and yesterday. What have you got here, mate? Uh, Nintendo 64. Ah, oh, so this is your price spot we picked yep. up this morning. This one probably being the, the best, these three here. Yep. Uh, and then Nintendo 64 console and obviously the GameCube, so. Are you on point? Oh, absolutely, mate. Yeah. yeah without doubt. All right, so <laughs> what do we got? We got 15, so I was yep. lower on that, 40 on that. I think I was about there. Yeah. I was probably a bit higher on that. Um, I was a bit lower on that. 250, 100, what have you got on that one? 70? Yep. Um, what it's on the console? 180? 180 and 190. One, okay, it's got the so I'll have to look back at the footage, but I reckon You're that close, I'm, eh? I'm not far off. I think that's a good starting point. We'll see what we can get from that. I got the fans on in the background, guys. Sorry about the background noise. Uh, I'm not after any books. I just don't sell any. They're good books, but you're better selling them on eBay. That's a beautiful thing. Um, uh, original Transformers. Not for sale, it's just for you. 86, I was three. Thank you. They're cool, I've seen a few of them. There's quite a few shops that have got those. I'm not an overly big fan of, there's actually a number of vendors that have got them and I like having stuff that other people don't. Um, 
test match is called. There was one of those at the market this morning. It was a 2001 model though. I think this is an 80s. Um, they actually do good on eBay too, but once again, I've got so many board games and they're just not moving for me in store. Um, that's cool. Is that Mega Blocks? It is. Yeah, Mega Try Blocks. Try to find one of them anywhere. Yeah, but it's Mega Blocks. I suppose the, um, I don't think the Lego came out with this version though. It's just a cool piece, but it's more cool than it is valuable. Muscle. Muscle men. Muscle men. These were the best thing in the 80s. I've seen them bring 80 to 150 bucks on eBay. Yeah, I'm just lazy to send it. Yeah. And what were you after that? Oh, like 10 bucks. Okay, I'll buy it for 10 then. Yeah. You convinced me. <laughs> <laughs> um, and what about these? I don't know. Two, three bucks a piece, because I know you can get five to 10 a piece on some of them. Yeah, that's going to be too much for me, just because of how long they're going to take to sell and how long they're going to sit. Yeah, um, I'm open to anything, so. I've got to cut my nails. You good with that? Yeah, I'm good with that. All right, we'll do that. And then what about the TMNT? There's only one of these online that sold recently for $100 with $140 postage. That's ridiculous. And they actually physically sold? Yeah, that's sold. But that's the only one in like the last six months. Um, Everyone's coming into Gold Coast Picker, all the traffic. I'd like to get $100, but I know you'd like yeah. to make some money as well. I, so. I wouldn't even be near that because I wouldn't even ask anywhere near that. Well, what are you thinking? Oh, uh, mate, honestly, it's mega blocks. It's not a big seller. Um, I'd probably leave that for you to put on eBay as well. All right. Um, yep, it's a cool piece. And the scales, oh, mate, I'd put 15 each on them and I'll be at five each. I'm not really a big fan on them. Yeah, done. All right, okay, so we got some money to spend then. You never find O'Neill on any of the figures because no one ever really bought them. Yeah. So she's always desirable. That's with the box. Yeah. 100 US with 90 posts. When you actually build Lego as an adult, you actually keep the pieces. When you build it as a kid, you lose everything. Yeah. Oh, it's almost $300. That's a fake. 